Okay guys, so on to part three of our riff section. So this is really similar to um, part one um, and it just comes back on what I was saying about developing a theme in a riff. So we're coming back to that initial, it's all played exactly the same, except there's one slight difference. Um, and that is adding in a pinched harmonic on this note. Okay, so remember the riff sounded like this. The, the, sorry, the first section sounded. Okay, so the only difference we're adding on this section is to go. Okay, so what this is really doing, it's just, it's, it's kind of a really good thing when it comes to riff writing is to have like a kind of recurring section of a riff. Okay, and then as you'll see on the, on the fourth section in the next video, you'll see we have an, an additional, you know, departure from that. And then it kind of just kind of continues to loop around in those kind of four little blocks. So to just play that through again, so we go. Okay, so I'm putting the pinch on that third fret on the E string. Okay, so I'm sure you probably know how to do a pinched harmonic. For those of you that don't, what you want to do is hold the pick with barely any of the, the tip of the pick poking out. Okay, and you basically just have to, as you pick, catch the string with the side of your finger. Okay, sorry, the side of your thumb. Okay, so a mistake that people often make when they first learn pinched harmonics is to do that and then rest their finger on the string. So as crazy as it sounds, you basically have to pick, hit the string, but then get your kind of thumb away quite quickly. So it's just a split second, it just touches that string. Um, and you can, you can find that between those two pickups, you can hit different sort of pinched harmonics and you know, different pitches. Um, so you might be thinking, right, so that's quite hard. How do I hit that in the middle of a riff? Okay, so. So to be quite honest, I kind of, my preference is to sort of hold the pick almost like that anyway. I don't really like to have too much poking out. Um, but really it's just one of those things you have to kind of train. If you don't hold it that way, you have to kind of train yourself to make that slight adjustment in the midst of playing. Um, but it's one of those things, it, it seems very difficult at first, but the more you practice it, it you know, becomes pretty easy. Um, so let's just try that one with the drum beat and we'll see how it sounds. So, three and four and. Okay, make sure you get a nice, you know, lots of vibrato on that as well. Um, and it sounds, you know. There we go, a nice high pitched one like that. And then it really leaps out, okay? Great, so I'll see you in the next video for the final part of the riff section.